Peacocks in Art. Peacocks are beautiful birds. They have been inspiring artists for a long time. Peacocks first lived in India, Sri Lanka, Burma, and in African rainforests. They are so beautiful that they have now been exported all over the world. Even Pomona has its own flock of peacocks. They live in the neighborhood around Lincoln Park. Have any of you ever seen them? Here is a part of the flock on Palomares Street. They like to hang out in people's yards and wander in the streets. Most of the time, peacocks are blue and green. Sometimes they are white. This white peacock is going to do a wild dance. Peacocks are often seen in art. These are images of peacocks in Indian art. Can you find the peacocks and their feathers? Harmonia Rosales is a contemporary Afro-Cuban American artist. Can you find the peacock feathers in her paintings? These peacock drawings and paintings were created by kids. Now it's your turn to create one too. So for this art piece, you're gonna need a sheet of watercolor paper. I recommend choosing a sheet that's a little larger, maybe an 11 by 14. Um, you could do it on a nine by 12, but uh, you won't have quite as much room for feather making. So an 11 by 14 sheet of watercolor paper. It's important that it is on watercolor paper. You're also going to need your watercolor markers, a dish of water, a pencil, a Sharpie marker, and a paintbrush. We're gonna begin with our pencil today. Now, the first thing you're gonna to want to do is um, decide where you wanna place your peacock. You might wanna place your bird body right in the middle you might want to place it over on to one of the sides. So it's completely up to you where you place your bird. And our paper is in our vertical direction. So I want to find the middle of my paper. And um, so somewhere about in there, I'm going to go ahead and I'm going to make a U-shaped uh, head. This is gonna be the head of our bird, so it's U-shaped. So I'm in the very middle, but you could have put it over on either side, whichever you prefer. Now, once you have that U-shape made, now we're gonna go ahead and we're gonna do a little bit of a curve line out and a curve line out. And then take and curve out, almost like you're putting on giant parentheses. And you're gonna do that on this side as well, where you do a curve line out and bring it in a little bit. And this gives us our basic bird body. Now in our next step, we're gonna be placing our eye. So we're gonna come into here and uh, you can place it right in the middle or you could place it to either side, um, any which way, any way will work, okay? So the first thing you're gonna do is you're gonna put in a rainbow shape And then you're going to put in a smile underneath it. And then take and put parentheses inside, touching from top to bottom. And we will have an eye shape in there. Now take and make a small circle inside of that eye. 
And then uh, using our pencil for right now, we're going to take and color that in, leaving that small circle white. And this gives us an eye for our bird. Now you could decide which side you want your beak to go on. Do you want your bird looking over to this side or looking over to this side? So either way doesn't matter. So take and put your pencil um, on either side and we're going to take and we're going to put in a curved line. Come down a little ways. Take and put in another curved line. Now we're going to add uh, some decorations around our eyes so we can come to the top of our beak and we're going to take and put an arch over our eye and go up a little ways and put another arch over our eye. We're going to come down to our bottom beak and take and put a smile under our eye and then take and add another one underneath. So now our bird beak has a little bit of style and you could add a second beak on if you wanted to as well, like an underneath beak, or you can leave it how it is, depending on what you have. Now we're gonna go ahead and we're gonna add in some top feathers. They could angle back, they could angle straight up, they could go in different directions, it's your choice. But we're gonna take and just make some shapes. So it's just a line with a circle on top. Now we're going to go ahead and we're going to be putting in some side feathers. So we're going to just come to the side and the first thing we're going to do is we're going to just put in a row of half circles going up one side. Then we're going to take and put in a row of half circles going up the other side. And then inside of each one, we're going to take and make another half circle. Now in our next step, we're actually going to take our Sharpie marker and we're going to get this part traced out before we do everything up here. So in your next stop, take your Sharpie marker and go ahead and trace out your lines. Now once I get to this step, I can keep working with my pencil, or if I feel confident, I can just work with my Sharpie marker. So if you don't mind tracing out and you're worried about making a mistake, keep working in your pencil. Um, or you can go right to your Sharpie marker. So what we're going to be doing now is we're going to be adding feathers out here. So as we go to do that, we come in between our two feathers, we make a line out, and then we're going to be making kind of uh, teardrop shape. So it's a little pointed at the end and curved up at the top. And then we can um, continue building them up off of there. And we might have some that actually go off the page. And that is okay. So I'm going to take and place the shapes in between. Now once I have my basic shapes made, then I'm going to go ahead and I'm going to go inside of them. And first I'm going to make one more of those shapes. So I'm going to do that in each one of them. Now after I've done that, then I'm going to go inside of these shapes and the first thing you make is a little rainbow. And then after you make the rainbow, you take and you make a little curve inside and that makes that little peacock shape. So I make a little rainbow and then it's a curve and a curve and then you curve up a little bit. So a rainbow a curve and a curve and then another curve and you're going to do that inside 
And if some of them are too small, you don't have to worry about doing that. So you might not have room in some of them. Now at this point, we're gonna add on some of those little feather lines. So we're gonna come onto each side. And add in some of those thin little feathers that they have. So now I have my entire um, peacock drawn. If you did these in pencil, you're then gonna need to now take your Sharpie marker and trace over them. And now we're ready for our next step, which is to take paint into our peacocks. Now, peacocks are traditionally green or blue, sometimes white. Um, we're gonna be playing with color today. So um, I'm gonna actually be playing with making mine blue and I'm gonna demo a blue, but I'm also in the beginning gonna use some yellow and some green. So how you decide to do yours is gonna be completely up to you. This is just one way, but I'm gonna show you how to turn these markers into paint. So I'm actually gonna start with yellow with mine. I really want there to be um, some brightness around my beak and my eyes. And I'm gonna do just a, an outline of color around my eyes. And you're gonna see why in a little bit. I'm actually gonna leave the rest of that white. Now, as I go to do my peacock, I'm gonna do it just at the edge first. So it's almost like I'm making kind of a thick outline. And then I'm gonna take and I'm gonna put just a little bit more into the middle. But I'm gonna leave some white. And I can use whatever colors I want for this, but let me show you how this works. So now I'm gonna take my water and my paintbrush and I'm gonna dip into my water. So I'm gonna come ahead and go in around my eye first. Um, so I'm gonna come into my green And you see how with a little bit of water, it activates. So now I have a darker green around the edge and then it gets a little bit lighter going in around my eye. And I'm gonna clean out my brush. And now I'm gonna take this into my peacock down here. And I'm gonna actually leave my yellow. I'm not gonna take any water into it. And that's gonna hold the space between my green and my blue so they don't run. And you'll see how this becomes paint. It gives me a nice vibrant color. So you can see how this process works. So now from here, I can go ahead and take paint into my um, feathers up into here. I do wanna talk with you about one thing. As you go to do your colors in your feathers, so whatever you decide you want to do. So let's say, um, and you can you know do all different kinds of colors or the same, but let's say I put green out here and I put some blue here. And I put a little bit of brown in my middle. Now, if I go in and take water into all three of them, they're all going to run together and I'm going to lose them. So what I want to do is do this in, um, like I've got to kind of space it out. So I could do my brown and I'm going to let my brown sit. Now I want to let my blue, I'm going to leave it for the very end. And I'm going to do my middle one and then I'm going to now do my green. So when my brown and my green totally dry, then I would go in and do my blue. If I do my blue now, what's gonna happen is all three of them are gonna run together. And I'm gonna show you what that looks like, but if you wanna keep them separate, you would do them, um, you would let it completely dry. So if this was completely dry, they wouldn't run. But since it's not completely dry, let me show you what happens. 
So see how my green and my brown have all kind of moved in together. So you can decide to do it either way. You might like how it looks moved together, but if you want your colors to stay very precise like they are here, then you need to let each one dry. Okay, and so go ahead and paint your feathers. Have fun. And now at this point, you could be finished with your peacock, or if you want to do anything in your background, you can. It's up to you. Uh, thanks for joining me today. Bye-bye.